we go. I'm going to start with the uh, Federal 115 grain ultra range and target ammo. One thousand one hundred seventy four. One thousand one hundred seventy two. One thousand one hundred sixty nine. Okay, here we go with uh, the first uh, custom loads. This is a one hundred twenty five grain blue bullet, polymer coated bullet. 4.7 grains of Vita Guari M340 powder. Uh, it is loaded in a Fiocchi case uh, to an overall length of 1.150 uh, plus or minus a few thousands. Let's see how it goes. I'm impressed. The, uh, those velocities are coming in right at uh, the load data I was using. I was using load data for a Rainier 124 grain uh, plated bullet. Um, that was the closest I could come up with uh, in terms of a bullet that had a comparable overall length. Um, we loaded, uh, started at the starting load of 4.7 grains, and, and we're achieving about the same velocity. So let's check it out. Um, we picked up the spent brass. What you see on the top here are the Federal 115 grain uh, brass cases uh, after they were fired. That's kind of our uh, control round or test round. Uh, and then here are the Fiocchi GFLs. Uh, these were shot with 4.7 grains of uh, the N320 powder. Uh, we don't see any obvious signs of uh, overpressure, so we're looking very good. Good there. Uh, so this, uh, these here are the 4.8 grain loading, same overall length as before, 1.150 plus or minus, uh, maybe five thousandths of an inch. Let's uh, let's see how these do. One 
1071. One thousand fifty eight. It's interesting. We really don't have that much difference at all in velocity here. Um, I know when I weigh my charge weights uh, off the press, you know, I'll do the first ten uh, without bullets just taking uh, charge samples. And when I was loading the 4.7 grains, they were averaging really about 4.7125. Uh, I probably came up a little light on the 4.8s. I think I was more like about 4.77, as I recall. Um, but uh, let's pick up the brass and see what they look like. Okay, so here's the five shots that were taken uh, with the 4.8 grain loading shot through the Glock 19. Um, Again, no obvious pressure signs. Um, but then. Okay, here's the 4.9 grade load through the Glock 19. Again, not a whole heck of a lot of difference from the 4.7. Added two tenths of a grain and here's our spent brass from the 4.9 grade load shot through the Glock 19. Again, other than the characteristic mark of the Glock Striker, they look uh, pretty good. 